I'm going to get all sciencey on you today and talk about entropy as described by the second law of thermodynamics, a concept in physics that describes how everything slowly goes to disorder. And we're going to talk about how this practically affects your life and your confidence on a daily basis. Now, I'm no quantum physicist, I'm no expert to talk about entropy. But the best way to describe entropy, I think, or the best way it was described to me, is if you take a glass of water and you take, you get it nice and cold in the fridge, say, and you take it out and you put it on a table, eventually that water will come to room temperature. The cold will leave it. Okay, so and this is how everything works. Everything eventually settles into disorder. That cup of water, if left long enough, will evaporate. The cup of water will end up empty. You leave that even longer and the, gr the glass itself will disintegrate. So over enough time, everything dissolves and spreads out and goes to disorder. It has something to do with the universe expanding all the time, so everything's kind of being stretched out and spread around as distance increases over time. But all you need to know, or all we need to know, is that essentially there is a physical law in the universe that is constantly trying to pull your life apart. Think of it as the angel of death, constantly bringing you closer to a total destruction. Okay, And today we're going to talk about how to notice it and how to deal with it. Bodies deteriorate with age, mountains erode over time, eventually even the sun will go out. Your job will come to an end. Your physical abilities will dissolve with age. Your healing abilities get slower as you get older. On and on. There's some very physically measurable pieces of evidence that entropy exists. Basically, the longer you live, kind of the worse it gets. Unless you're doing something about it. Now, the big mistake people make is they try to keep a plateau. They try to find a balanced, easy life. Something comfortable and smooth that does not change, it does not get better or worse. They try to find a good job that they can stick to. They try to find a relationship that will be the last relationship they ever have to have. They try and find a sport that they'll love forever and so on. People are trying to kind of cross that finish line and find this comfortable stasis, this neutrality, this plateau. And this is probably the biggest mistake that anyone can make in their life because there's no such thing as flat. If you're flat and entropy is working with you, you've got like a zero and a minus one, which means you're going to go down. The only way that you can fight the minus one influence of entropy is to be a plus two at all times. A plus one is just going to keep you neutral. So you have to work at it just to stay neutral. If you're not working at it, if you're just keeping things nice and simple and smooth and clean and comfortable, you're going down. Not only is life unfair, it's actively working against you. From the day you were born, you entered into a competition with death. Now that's a competition you're ultimately going to lose, but you're fighting it every day. It's battle by battle. Anything that's not fighting against entropy will be slowly but surely destroyed. Zero plus minus one equals minus one. So one way to look at it is staying still actually equals going backwards. If you're keeping in a safe job and a safe relationship and doing the same shit all the time, you're actually going backwards, not staying the same. It might feel like you're staying the same because you're comfortable, things are predictable and there's a routine, but you're being dissolved from behind, in a sense, by entropy. You know, the longer you stay at your job, the more likely you are to become redundant. The longer you stay at a relationship without putting any effort in, the more likely it is that you're going to get bored and miserable and the other person's going to become uninterested in you. And so on. Even if you just keep your exercise the same every time, your body will eventually get used to it and then it's no longer going to have any benefits for you. I've been watching a lot of documentaries lately about obesity and eating disorders just to learn more about them. And I've noticed that somebody who diets a lot, what will happen is that they'll go into starvation mode and their body will become much more efficient with metabolism. It'll learn how to make food last longer. And then when they go back to eating normal, they put on heaps of weight because they have the same metabolism as when they were starving. So they start to store fat. And this is the kind of thing that entropy does. It adjusts to where, wherever you're at until what was once helpful just becomes normal and then unhelpful. There's always this arc. So if you're not constantly improving, eventually you're going to go down. If your exercise is static, eventually your fitness will go down. 
if your connections and depth of relationships are static eventually you'll become superficial and then end if your challenges in life are all solved and keep static and nice eventually you'll experience kind of mental entropy okay you'll become less cognitively functioning because you're not being challenged and kept kind of fresh and, and exercising your mind we can also see this in kind of the political sphere or the global sphere when we don't stand against evil if we're neutral with evil evil gets worse we could see this with world war ii when the major powers of the allies you know chose not to rise against germany when the first kind of warning signs were happening and when the first invasions were taking place and look at what happened with that by the time everyone got involved it was a fucking disaster we can see this now even you can see the elements of this in usa politics and uk politics there's a lot of whinging on facebook but that's just stasis that does nothing and slowly these powers are getting stronger and having bigger influences and we're starting to see the first deaths come from them like the mass murder that happened recently based on kind of using trump's dialect about foreigners as a reasoning we can start to see that this is becoming normal you can see the united states getting very numbed out to mass murders in schools and mass murders in general and you can see that that stasis of being numb is actually increasing the evil things are going downhill for their country you gotta understand there's no finish line there's no safe space there's no neutral stance you must fight against entropy all the time or it is automatically winning by default now it's going to beat you in the end but you can put it off each day by being a plus two to fight against that minus one Think of it like a computer game. If you've ever played one of those games where you're like a little dude walking around fighting zombies or whatever, Grand Theft Auto, one of those sorts of games. Imagine what was to happen if you just put the controller down and walked away and didn't do anything with the character. You come back in 30 minutes, he's dead, right? He needs to constantly be fighting against the enemies in the game just to stay alive, let alone succeed and achieve the mission. He has to be active or he dies. Now, if you're doing that kind of standing still in your life, misery meaningless physical atrophy and eventually death are going to overtake you and consume you because you're like a computer game character just standing there waiting for the enemies to swarm you've got to understand you standing still doesn't do anything to the rest of the world it moves on without you entropy keeps going no matter what you're doing you have to be active in your fight against it one way to look at it is about measuring everything as either helpful or harmful and there's no neutral there's no just middle so something's either improving your life, making it better than it was before, or it's a contribution to entropy. There is nothing that keeps your life solid. Stop measuring something as being safe, as being good enough to stay the same. For example, you might have a job that is safe and comfortable, and you think that it's neutral. It's not improving your life, it's just keeping you alive. It just gives you something to do and puts money in your bank account. It's not increasing your quality of life in any way. You've got to stop viewing that as a zero. That's a minus one. You're going downhill. In very practical terms, especially with the oncoming approach of AI technology and the kind of monopolies of capitalization that are going on around in the corporate world at the moment, you're very quickly going to be made redundant these days, right? There's a robot waiting to do your job. So if you're not constantly upskilling and adapting to the market, you're just waiting to be fired. So you're a minus one going downhill if you're in a safe job. For you to be in a safe career, you need to be constantly going up. That's the only way to even just stay neutral. You have to be more than minus one to be improving. The exercise you do today should always feel like it was harder than the one you did yesterday. With your relationships and your friendships, you should always be a little bit more honest and a bit more daring and a bit more compassionate than you were yesterday. Your career should always be moving up. Your spirituality should always be developing just to stay alive. You should be plus one at a minimum, rather than seeing zero as an accurate measure. You're either plus one, plus two, plus three, or you're by default minus one. How do we translate this into everyday activities? Well, we're talking about risk-taking, boldness, discomfort, willingly being confused, learning new things, experiencing confusion, frustration, physical pain, constantly enduring more harsher conditions than you dealt with in the past. Constantly trying to learn more than you know now, challenging your beliefs, talking to new people, having new experiences, pushing for higher goals. You don't set goals so you can achieve them, you set them merely as milestones. Once they're achieved, you reset them. 
This isn't about achieving a happiness when you accomplish the goal. It's about fighting off entropy. You know you're fighting off entropy if your goal's always harder than what you're doing. Okay? But if you've achieved your goal and then just sat there, you can be sure that you're entropic. You are dissolving. You just can't see it because it happens quite slowly. If life feels comfortable for a long period of time, that is the deceptive cuddle of death. You are dying. I know it feels good. I know it's good to have a nice run where there are no problems and things are basically going along the way they should be. And you don't want to rock the boat. You don't want to be going to take risks and be courageous and stuff while everything's nice. But understand that nice, comfortable feeling is a downward slope. Okay, and you're going to pay in heavy coin in the future if you don't do something about it now. Every day there should be physical exertion. Every day there should be something that challenges your courage. Every day there should be an increased level of honesty to the day before. Every day there should be something new that you've learned. This isn't much. We're talking maybe an hour's worth of activity tops each day. Not only will that keep you alive, it will help you to thrive. And it will ward off things like heart disease and all the physical problems that come with not taking care of yourself. Or Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and all the physical problems that come with not taking care of your brain. Right? Or loneliness and atrophy of your relationships. You'll be able to fight off all this stuff. And that's really how you have a quality life. You just beat entropy each day. If you can be a plus one or a plus two every day, then you're always going to thrive. It's when you're a zero or a minus one, or every zero is a minus one, or a minus two or a minus ten, like some people who make their lives even worse, and they rush towards entropy with you know, excessive drug use or lots of faking it in their relationships or choosing a job that sucks or whatever. You can even always speed up entropy. You can't stop it, but you can get it to its slowest possible rate, which is being a plus one or a plus two, challenging yourself every day. So the key point here is if you're comfortable for too long, you're dying. Go get uncomfortable right here, right now, and do it again tomorrow, and you'll be fine. Thank you so much for tolerating that random, probably quite unscientific rant. I appreciate you, and if you like that and want to share it around, please do. And of course, subscribe to the channel to get notified when I make my next video. And of course, if you want to fight against entropy in a really productive way, you want to know what it looks like to be a plus two or plus three or plus five every day, get in touch, dan at brojo.co.nz, and I'll help you towards that goal. Cheers.